49 days. That's how many days I have left until my first med school exam. I know if I study properly, I'll be able to pass the exam, so I'm not really nervous. I'm really more just overwhelmed at the moment. There is a lot of stuff to cover. I have three exams, each covering a variety of topics. So the first exam is called Principles of Medicine. This exam has four main topics. Molecular biology of the cell, hematology, immunology and infection, and genetics. The second exam I have is called BRS. Topics in this exam are neurology and neuroscience, psychiatry, endocrinology, musculoskeletal and rheumatology, cardiovascular and respiratory, dermatology, development and aging, gastroenterology, urology and real medicine. And the last exam is an anatomy spotter exam. And this anatomy exam covers the head, neck and spine as well as the thorax. So my first exam is the 4th of May. It's currently the 16th of March. So today I'm going to prepare for the insane amount of content that I'm going to be tested on to make sure that I don't have to come back in summer and retake any of my exams. So I have a spreadsheet that contains all my lecture notes. So what I'm going to do first is make sure that I have all of the lectures that I will be tested on this year on the table. I've just finished putting all of the lectures in my table. It just made me realize how much I actually have to learn. So for the BRS one, it comes out to 95 lectures. POM is 54 lectures. The anatomy exam isn't really taught in lectures. You have to memorize the main structures in the head, neck, and spine, uh, as well as the thorax, which is like this area from your shoulders here down to the bottom of your rib cage. Next, I'm going to make a table. What are the things I want to do to prepare for the exams? So that means things like past papers, testing myself, watching tutorials, flashcards. So I'm just gonna spend some time looking through all of the resources that are available to me and then putting on my table, which ones I aim to do before the exam. So I finished that and as you can see, I now have a long list of all the resources. So now my study sessions will be a lot more structured as I'll just go through this list and aim to complete everything before I have my reading. Now I have two sets of resources here. The first one is active, so that's testing myself on the lecture questions that I make or pre-made exam questions. I have a second section called my passive section. It's basically just lectures that are put on by the older years to help the younger years pass the exams. You may seem a bit strange to have a passive section considering active study sessions are proven to be a lot more effective and I'll explain in a second why I have the passive section. Step three is make a timetable for the week so I know exactly when I'm going to be studying. There are four things that I'm going to do every day. So the first three are just the three different topics that I have. So that's the POM, DRS, and anatomy section. And the last thing is a passive section. So I aim to do about two and a half hours of POM per day, two and a half hours of BRS, one and a half hours of anatomy, and then one hour of passive. My passive section will go at the end of the day. And the reason for having that is it'll be a good way for me to transition out of working. At the end of the day, I'm usually quite tired, but I still have the urge to work and I know I probably should stop working at that point but I feel kind of guilty for not working so instead what I'll do is spend like an hour or so watching a tutorial it's the same content that I'll be revising more actively earlier on in the day but it's just an easy form. The aim is not really to to learn anything from it because I would have already done it earlier in the day it's really just to transition out of work mode into relaxation mode without feeling guilty about not doing any work so I just have the time allocations for each topic down at the bottom here at the beginning of every week I'll fill out my calendar and put the different times that I'm going to do each of the study sessions. The reason I'll do it at the beginning of the week is because depending on how I feel, I may do it at different times. And I don't want to plan it all out now because then I'll just feel, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It kind of makes the whole study period seem too rigid, if you know what I mean. The more rigid and inflexible my timetable is, I've realized the less likely I am to do it. So I'll just do it at the beginning of the week instead, depending on how I feel. So to recap, what I have now is all of my lectures, questions on a spreadsheet that lets me track exactly which questions I get right and wrong, which helps me to target my revision more effectively. Then I have a table of all the resources that I'm going to use to help me revise. Finally, I've allocated the amount of time each day that I'll be setting aside to study per topic. 